The goal is to bring together people who have the same concerns that we have, that we use too much energy, that we use too many resources, um, and that want to favor the development of clean technologies. What I always wanted to show when I initiated the Solar Impulse project is the fact that you can achieve absolutely incredible goals with renewable energies and clean technologies, like flying day and night with an airplane without absolutely any fuel. And Bertrand Picard has done just that. What's more, both he and his co-founder André Borschberg have flown flights lasting several days and nights, all powered exclusively by the sun's rays. Meanwhile, here on the ground, we're seeing the proof of that message as renewables become a more mainstream form of energy. This is the solar power plant of the University of California's Davis campus, and it's a demonstration of a commitment to be carbon neutral in less than 10 years. Now, back in the early days of the solar industry, many would have thought that that dream was just, like solar impulse, impossible. But there were pioneers who believed in a clean future and had the science to back them up. This is Dr. Richard Swanson. He was one of those pioneers and he founded SunPower, the company that produced the solar cells found on Solar Impulse. You need to have a vision. That's certainly something that we've learned over time. You have to have a direction you're headed and uh, it may not be exactly obvious how to get there, but uh, having a vision that says, yes, transportation can be much more solarized, which Solar Impulse sort of exemplifies, is, is a wonderful draw to just keep us moving forward as we, as we try and, and make solar more uh, ubiquitous in our energy supply. Now here at UC Davis, the energy collected by SunPower's photovoltaic cells needs to be turned into electricity that can be used. And that's where ABB comes in. Uh, you've got the SunPower uh, panels that are converting uh, sunlight into DC and the DC comes into one side of the inverter and it translates it into AC on the other side. And the grid is what recognizes the AC. It doesn't recognize the DC, so really the inverter has to be uh, crucial to the whole, the whole system. This power plant, the Sun Power uh, system here, uh, UC Davis estimates is covering about 14% of their entire campus electricity needs. And that's going to change the uh, carbon footprint uh, by about 9% for UC Davis. And, and their goals, their goals are by 2017, they're going to have 60% six, of their total electricity needs covered by renewable energy. And if you think about California, the state of California, they've got very aggressive goals of 50% by 2020. So UC Davis is absolutely out on the cutting edge and, and leading the pack with uh, beating those state goals as well. ABB's products are helping this university to become carbon neutral by 2025. But the big question is whether the world will get to that stage, and if so, when?